This is the plywood jump rope platform that I made from um, three quarter inch plywood and a couple of two by fours. And I put some more two by fours on the ground um, underneath it. So it's uh, it gives it some more support. It's a wonderful platform for jump roping on and doing other exercises. As you can see, I have a rubber mat on top of it. And mostly I use that because um, the, the plywood is flexible enough so you don't really need a rubber mat. But it, the rubber mat um, muffles the sound of the jump rope hitting the wood, which is very loud on the bare plywood, and it sort of muffles the sound a little bit. And also for doing other exercise, it gives you a little bit more traction. Herpes is a very challenging uh, cardio exercise, a wonderful exercise to do. It combines uh, push-ups, uh, jump backs, and, uh, and jump squats all into one exercise. Very demanding on the cardio and a wonderful thing to do in between jump roping, in between a wonderful cardio exercise and a um, high intensity interval exercise. You'll see, it goes like this. There are several different types of push-ups that you can do. Hands, you know, medium, like this. Hands wide apart, like this. And hands in a diamond shape, close together, like this. You can also do the plank, which is a great exercise for building up your core muscles. And um, you don't move in this one. It's not aerobic, but it really strengthens your core. Basically what happens is, is you start in a push-up position, and then you bring your arms down so that your hands and your arms create a triangle. And in this triangle, you just stay in this position as straight as you can from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, to the heels of your feet. You want a straight line. And you just stay in this position for a minute or more, or 30 seconds or whatever you can do. And the longer you do it, the more challenging it is, the more it's building up your core. In addition to the jump rope, there's a lot of things you can use the, the platform for. Um, if you have any kind of flat surface, even in your living room or inside, you can do it. I like exercising outside in the sun and the fresh air, which I couldn't do at the gym. And this is a great opportunity to do that. So using this platform or doing any of these exercises inside, there's many, many different things that you can do on a platform like this or inside on your carpet or your floor. You can do, uh, you know, jumping jacks and uh, the burpees that I showed you and um, push-ups crunches, sit-ups, all kinds of different things. You, you go on YouTube and you'll find dozens and dozens of different exercises that are good. Yoga, you know, I mean, you need to stretch. So yoga, I always do yoga stretching after a good exercise session and a little bit before to, to limber up and, and stretch my body, you know, stretch the muscles. They need to stretch. They need to be built up and strong, but they also need to be flexible. So this platform is a wonderful thing for doing that. And I'm very grateful in a way that the gyms closed down and that I could build this gym outside so that I can, I can exercise outside, which is a wonderful thing to do. The only thing I miss is the, is the heated saltwater pool. That was really nice. And uh, if it comes back again, I'll definitely take advantage of that. But having your own gym is a wonderful thing because when you're, you're inside, when you're working with the, uh, you know, on the computer or, or doing writing or whatever you're doing, whatever your job is. If you have your gym at home, you can take a short break and, and exercise. You can take a short break and come out, do jump roping, do whatever you do. So it keeps you moving throughout the whole day, you know, instead of only what I was doing is two hours a week, two hours um, a day during the week each day during the week, two hours. But it was all in that one two hour slot. 
And with this, I can break it up over the whole day. I can do two hours, but I can also do all kinds of other things, breaking it up and doing exercises. For instance, I'll show you with this chin-up bar that I have inside. This is a wonderful thing. You can get it on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. I look, I checked, and it was 30 bucks. Otherwise, it's $80. But it's a small price to pay, right? 80 bucks or whatever this equipment costs. It's much cheaper than heart surgery. It's much cheaper than cancer surgery. It's much cheaper than medications that you have that you're getting from the doctor. All these ways of staying healthy are far cheaper than that. Eating healthy, even though you pay more for organic food, it's healthier to be healthy rather than rely on the medical system to try and bring you back to health. It's much easier to stay healthy than it is to get healthy. So when you're doing these things in the beginning, it's challenging. You know, it is challenging to do it. When I started doing pull-ups and, and, uh, and chin-ups, um, I could barely do, you know, two or three at the most. Even one was hard in the beginning. And now I regularly do 10. You know, I have it set up in front of my bathroom. This little thing I'll show you in front of my bathroom. And um, every time I go to the bathroom, I do 10 chin-ups. You know, so each time I go to the bathroom, I'll do 10 chin-ups, either coming in or going out, depending on how badly I need to go. And uh, so during the day, you know, maybe I'll do 100 chin-ups over the period of one day, broken up into different, different times. And it's, it seems to me that that's actually a better way of exercising than putting all your exercise into one very intense workout for two hours a day at the gym, breaking it up over the full day. So... You know, I advise you to, to do whatever you can to have your own home gym. And it may consist of nothing but your floor, as this platform is really nothing but a floor, isn't it? It's just that the ground is uneven, so I need this here. If I had very even ground here, I, I wouldn't even need to make a platform. But because I don't, I built a platform. But it really just mimics what you have inside your house, you know? So you already have a home gym. Your body and your floor are a home gym. No, and there's and with these other things in this video that I'm showing you, you can add to them and and get even more of a workout. Yeah, this is an exercise ball. It's 15 pounds. It's the heaviest that I could find at the time. But they come in all different kinds of weights. Some a lot less than this, and some more. It's a fun way to get a workout, and you can get these in any sports store or in Amazon. It's like um, you've got a 15 pound ball, and you can use this for for shooting hoops. For pretending you're doing that, you don't need a net. You just throw it up in the air as far as you can. And it's it's building up your your muscles in a fun way. And after doing it for a while, you get a nice aerobic workout too. You can bring it all the way down and touch the ground and then bring it up. Give your quads a little bit of a, a workout too. Or just do it from here. They come in heavier sizes than this. You get more of a workout with a heavier size. But as you can tell from my breathing, you get a nice aerobic workout, even from this little 15 pound guy. A few other things that are useful to have are these gloves. I use these gloves uh, for rock climbing. They have a really, they're, they're tough. <laughs> so they're, they're good for rock climbing where rocks are really sharp or there's a lot of uh, shale and things like that. And I also use it so that I don't get splinters from the, um, from the plywood, from working out in the plywood. But there's another type of glove, which is, which is particularly good for weightlifting. You know, it, it's um, basically it protects your wrist. So this glove is, is, it has a nice padding and a grip here for weights. And uh, you wrap this around your wrist and it protects your wrist. So um, you want to have your wrist be strong, you know, build up the muscles in your wrist and your forearm so they're strong. But this is, gives you some extra protection when you're, when you're lifting weights. And the other thing is, it's not necessary to have these things, but it's useful if you are lifting weights is to have a weight belt. And the weight belt you know, keeps your, your, your core uh, in alignment the way it's supposed to be. You need to engage your core whenever you do um, weightlifting exercises, particularly uh, deadlifts. 
and things like that and squats. You want to have your core be engaged, which means tight and strong, you know, so that your back doesn't bend, so that you don't like have a, have a, you know, a rounded back. You don't want to have a rounded back when you do any kind of weightlifting. You can, you can damage your, um, your vertebrae and the discs in your vertebrae by doing that. So you want to have a core that's tight and engaged when you're doing that. And this helps this helps the, the core. It doesn't help engage it, but it helps keep it in alignment. So a lot of times people that lift heavy weights will use a weight belt, and I use a weight belt as well. And also these gloves, they're wonderful um, to use, but they're not necessary. Particularly if you build up, if your core is strong enough and it's engaged, you don't need it. If your wrists are strong enough, you don't need it. But, you know, it helps to have it. And the other nice thing to have is... Um, a massager, you know, I have a, uh, my shoulder from the way that I treated it when I was young as a photographer, um, carrying heavy uh, equipment on this right shoulder so that I'd have my left hand, which is my dominant hand, free to use the camera and get things out of the camera bag quickly, especially when I did journalistic photography. I didn't do that that much, but I did a lot of nature photography. I would be carrying a heavy equipment like a four by five black and white uh, camera, four by five inches and all the different film that you need to carry with you. It can be heavy if you're going and the tripod is usually very heavy. So this shoulder, you know, took a beating. I didn't treat it the way I should if I had known better in my life. And so now at 70, I'm paying for that. So the weights are a really good way of balancing my body and making this side as strong as the other side, which takes some effort to do because I've been so dominant left-handed. But the weights really help uh, to do that. And this feels so good. <laughs> so you can injure yourself or just strain your muscles or, you know, you want to relax your muscles afterwards. This is a wonderful thing to have, a little massager. There's a lot of different ones that they make. This one is called uh, Pure Wave, and uh, I love it. It's really useful. And uh, the other thing that I do is I have a, a, a dry, far infrared sauna, which I use, which is, um, you know, also really relaxes the muscles afterwards. And even though I'm sweating during a good workout, it increases the sweat. And during this time of coronavirus, uh, you know, at 140 degrees, the virus can't live in that kind of a temperature, you know, so it's, it's really a good thing to have. Yes, that's expensive. The dry, um, far infrared sauna costs $5,000. There's other things are, you know, $20, $30, $200 at the most that you'll have to spend. But isn't that worth it? I mean, isn't it worth it to spend a couple of hundred dollars and save the expense of heart surgery, the expense of cancer treatments? Those are much more expensive than that. Eating healthy food is also expensive. You know, it's more expensive to buy organic food than it is conventional food filled with chemicals. But it's important to do this because it, you're saving money in the long run by a great deal to stay healthy, to be healthy and stay healthy, not try and return to health after you're already sick. You know, it just makes more sense to do that. And of course, um, water, <laughs> you need to have a lot of water. Fresh, clean, filtered water so that it doesn't have impurities in it, no chlorine and things like that in it. So you want to be able to, to have fresh water. You can buy filtration systems yourself. Here in Sedona, I have buy water from a store that filters it, and it's not very much. And it's well worth it because you drink a lot of water if you're exercising, working out, and it's healthy to drink a lot of water. H2O, water. And... The last thing I want to show you, oh, this already fell out, is this little contraption that I've had for 20 years. I forgot to show it before, and I showed you that doing chin-ups and pull-ups is a really useful thing to do where you use your own body weight. Now, the weights that I have now here only go up to 140 pounds, to 70-pound barbells. That's the highest weights that I have. But my own body weight is 190 
So when I do pull-ups, I'm, I'm exercising using 190 pounds. Not that it's easy to do that in the beginning. It takes a while to build up your strength to do it, but I'll show you how to do that too. But this little gadget, the thing that I showed you before from my outdoor gym is something that I've had for years, but it's a whole stand, it's a big thing and also expensive. This thing you can get on Amazon for um, $30. I checked last night, if you're Amazon Prime, $30, $80 if you're not. And it's well worth it, it's well worth it to be able to do pull-ups in your own house. Um, as I said, I've had this for 20 years. I didn't even think to, uh, to mention it before. And already you can see that the, um, that the foam is already falling apart, but it's okay. You don't need the foam. I mean, here there's some foam on this one. There's none on this part. Some foam on here and the foam is off this one. Um, so you really don't need that. Um, but you will get, when you get a new one, the foam will all be good. <laughs> It'll all be like new. This is 20 years I've been using this and it still holds up. What happens, I'll show you, when we go inside, I'll show you that um, this part here, you put, when you have a door frame, a regular sized door frame, you put this over the um, inside of the door frame. It just hooks over the inside of the door frame. Say the door frame is here and this hooks over and the outside part goes against the door frame, fits against the door frame. You'll see as I show you how, how this works. And it can go right over your um, any door in your house. And it, it supports the door. My house is not that well built. The Zendo is not all that well built and it's held up here for six years. Now I'm using it all the time. And I think I mentioned before that, so I have this outside the temporary bathroom that I have while my bathroom is being um, redone. Termites were in it, it had to be totally torn apart and remade. So that's still being done. So I'm using this temporary bathroom and I have this outside the temporary bathroom that I have in the little guest room, little guest room bathroom. And every time I go to the bathroom, I do 10 pull-ups. Every time I go to the bathroom, I do 10 pull-ups. So if I go three times a day, that's uh, 30 pull-ups in a day and maybe I'll do it more and then you know I might do it going in and going out so often during the day I may do as many as a hundred pull-ups in this and it gets easier I'll show you how, how to do this when you do pull-ups in the beginning it's challenging you're lifting your own body weight you're not used to doing that so the easiest way to do it is use this put this up and then um, instead of doing the um, you know, use a chair or something to bring yourself up to the end position where the pull-up is at its end position, and then slowly let yourself go down. Then use your legs of the, on the chair to come back up again, and then slowly let yourself down. And that will start building up the muscles that you need. So eventually you'll be able to do one pull-up, you know, and then keep doing that one pull-up and eventually two and three and four and five and so on. With all body weight exercises, with all exercises that you do, including aerobic exercises and including flexible exercises like yoga, stretching exercises, the more you do, the better you get. This is a wonderful thing because there's not that many things where the more you do, the better you get to this degree. For everybody, the more you do, the better you get. This is guaranteed. The more you do, the better you get. The more you do, the easier it is. Still challenging. You want to challenge yourself. But when you can't do one pull up, eventually you can do one, eventually three, eventually four, five, eventually 10 or more. You know, this is, this is how it works. The more you do, and this can happen at any age. You could start at 70 and do this. And the same thing, you build up your strength, build up your stamina, build up your flexibility by just doing it more and more. If you were a writer and you wrote all the time, as I did, um, you know, that was what I did for a living for a long time. So, so you get better and better as a writer the more you write. Yes, that's true. But there's a certain limit to that. If you don't have this innate, inborn creativity and talent, that's going to limit you. You can't go past that. You know, you can be good with skills. The skills of writing, the technique of writing can be fairly flawless after you do it long enough. And the ease of writing can be good. But if you don't have something to say, if you don't have creativity, the same for an artist. But here, you can always get better. The more you do, the better you will get. So I'll, we'll go inside and I'll show you how to, how to set this up on the door frame. So basically what happens is you can see this is what the inside of the door looks like too, right? This is the door frame. This top part here is the door frame. 
So it's got the same thing on the other side. This is the standard door. It has a frame here and a frame there. This part hooks over that frame. So if it was coming from, um, from the other side, which it can't because the door is in the way, it would hook over this. It would hook over that, you know, but the door is in the way. So you, can only, you can't do it from the side that the door is on. You have to do it from the other side. And so basically you hook this part over the frame here, like so. That's hooked over the frame. And this part is pressing against the outside of the door frame. And that's what makes a solid thing. It doesn't even seem like it would make it so solid, but it does. It's very solid um, the way this works. And it will hold, I weigh 190 pounds. Supposedly, it will take 300 pounds of weight. I don't know. I've never weighed 300 pounds, so I can't test that. But it does do 190 pounds. And there's a little bit of creaking at times, yes. I mean, but I've done this hundreds of times. And the door frame is still holding up. So it'll work in your place too. And again, this is, this is pretty, you know, it isn't a very expensively built house and still this door frame holds up fine. So basically you, you do, you set this up and then you do your, your um, pull-ups or chin-ups. It has this handy bar here because this is so old, the, the foam is like falling apart. I actually have a new one but I haven't set that up yet. It has new foam. This is what it looks like. It's called the Iron Gym. And uh, again, it is on Amazon. It's called the Iron Gym. This is what it looks like when it's in good shape <laughs> as it comes to you new. But after 20 years, it may look like this if you use it a lot. So then you do your chin-ups. And so on. <laughs> so, and as I said before, if you have a chair or something to start off with, you're probably not going to be able to pull up your whole body weight. So use a chair to stand on. Bring yourself, I don't have a chair here, but imagine if I did. Use a chair to stand on and pull yourself up to the position on the chair like this. And then gradually let yourself down. And then let your, use your legs to bring yourself back up again so you can gradually do it. I used to work out in a gym that had an assisted pull-up machine, which used some weight. So I weigh 190 pounds and I would set it so um, I was only lifting 150 pounds instead of 190. So with your legs, you can do the same. You can just... You know, if you weighed 190 pounds, you could reduce it down to only pulling 10 pounds or 20 pounds and just little by little do it. So your legs will be supporting you most of the time and as much as you can with your arms. And gradually, 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 you'll get more and more strength, more and more strength in the muscles you need to pull yourself up. And eventually it will be easy to do it. There's different grips. Like there's this grip, then there's the hand grip like this, and there's also the, the underhand grip, which is mostly for your biceps. Like so. So it's a wonderful exercise. And as I said, this is right outside this temporary bathroom, my guest room bathroom, which is very small, kind of inconvenient to use, but so far for the last three months I've had to use it. Anyways, every time I go into the bathroom, I just do 10 pull-ups on this, you know, different hands, like different grips. And then sometimes I do it coming in and going out, sometimes just going in or going out. And then sometimes I just come in and do a couple. So in a, in a day, I may do as many as 100 pull-ups. And so that gives a lot of strength to my upper body. A lot of what you see in terms of musculature really comes from these pull-ups. Because for years, I didn't really use weights at all. I just did this. You know, and then using the weights, of course, is better. Because you're using more muscles. You're building up more muscles. And you can also do, as I showed you before, the, um, the leg lifts. 
you know, so you can do this and then do leg lifts. I don't know if it worked coming the opposite way. <laughs> And as you get used to doing this, it's enjoyable, you know? It's really enjoyable and fun to tax your muscles, to strain your muscles, to put some, you know, that's how they grow. They don't grow by not taxing them. They don't grow by not putting some stress on them. They need that stress. And then during the rest period, they grow. And that's how you get strong. You have to test yourself. You have to test your body, you have to test your muscles. Even in enlightenment and waking up, you test yourself there. You test yourself by going through what you're afraid of and doing it anyways, by coming up to the wall of what you feel you can't go further than and doing it anyways, you know? And this is sort of what you're doing with your body. You're testing your body every time you do it. And as you test your body, it gets stronger. And as in meditation, you test your limits on what you're afraid of and keep going. And you keep going that way. You don't plateau. You don't stay in one place. You know, you keep going until you're fully awake. So I hope this is helpful. And I really recommend getting one of these. You know, use a chair at first. Don't be... You know, if you're 70 or 80 years old and you're just starting to do this, don't be disappointed that you can't pull up your body weight. Now, use a chair and just put the littlest bit of, you know, just try it a little bit. Use, you know, basically just go down with your legs on the chair and then go up, down, up, and eventually let your arms help a little bit so you're not putting all your weight in your legs. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and pretty soon you find that you're doing a full pull-up by yourself without using your legs at all. But start with a chair. Start with something underneath to give you that. You know, thank you, my friend. Another nice thing to have is a weight bench. This is a steel body weight bench. Very, very sturdy. I got it off Amazon. I think it's around $200. I'll put a, uh, a link to the different things that that I have here, because most of those things can be uh, that I most of those things I got on Amazon and had sent to me, so they're available to you to, to use. Um, a weight bench is a very useful thing to do. You may have something in your house, a bench already that works for that. I remember when I was a kid, maybe uh, ten or eleven years old, I used to watch uh, Jack LaLanne's uh, show, and I think uh, jumping jacks. It comes from him because he used to always start the show with jumping jacks. But I remember he was doing uh, push-ups and he put two chair, three chairs, one chair where his feet were and one chair, um, one chair, uh, two chairs in front. And he put one hand on either chair and he did push-ups that way so he could um, bring his chest down below, get more of a stretch and make it uh, the push-ups a little bit more challenging. And I thought that was awesome. So I. I really liked him, so I tried that, you know, too. I did all the exercises that he did. I mean, he was very fit, and uh, it seemed like a good thing to do. So um, a weight bench is, is a wonderful thing to do for, for certain exercises. It's not something that's necessary. You know, in the beginning, if you're just starting to work out, you don't need it. But after a while, it, it will be helpful for you to have a weight bench. You'll see the different things you can do. For instance, you can do crunches. You know, you can do crunches. You can do this on the floor as well, but crunches are just um, put your legs up like this. You're not, my hands are behind my head, but they're not pushing my neck. They're just sort of resting on either side of my ears like this. So you can do this on the floor. You don't need to hook your legs onto anything. And also, you can do reverse crunches, which are like reverse crunches, where you go back like this. Hook your hands over the back, and then put your legs up like that.
I showed you this before, and I was just doing it on this platform, just like doing it, um, you know, on the floor, you know, so you don't have to have this, but it, it helps to have it. So I was doing it before, and I just had my arms down on the ground from the other video. You can see how I did. Those were, were reverse crunches, too. You can also do, um, if you're doing curls, you can do concentration curls. You can do this on a chair. You just want to focus on one, one bicep at a time and slow, slow. You know, the slower you go, the better workout you're going to get. And that's true a lot with, with weights. Oh, I'm going to put on the weight belt for you. And do some presses. I didn't do that with the um, crunches because I want my... I'm working out my core. I'm working out my abdomens, and I don't want any help when I'm doing that. But for other things, I want to keep my posture in good shape. So I'll do the weight belt to keep my alignment, you know, well. So to do um, bench presses, Dumbbells, it's a little bit more challenging because when, you when you're using a barbell, usually over the weight bench, you have, um, you have a, bar, a stand that holds the barbells. So all you have to do is reach up and get them. But when you have dumbbells, you need to, you need to go back. Using your abdomen, using your abdominal muscles, you need to go back put yourself in that position and then oh, you know what I did my head is too far over but you can see to get up and back uh, it's a little more challenging than if you have a bar where all you have to do is reach up and pull it down so you can do heavier, more heavily more heavy weights that way than you would if you're doing it like this Fun, huh? <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of things you can do with a with a weight bench, and as I said before, you may have a bench in your uh, own house that will work for you, and even you know certain exercises you can use a chair for. For instance, this one, even your bed might work. So this is. Um, is a row, a one-arm row, which works your, your back muscles, your lats. to work this arm because that's my weaker one but you know I balance them the same I just want to pay enough attention so that the weaker arm weaker shoulder is getting as much as this one is if not more so so that's the weight bench and again I'll put a link so you can see um, so you can see these things yourself should you want to get one. So when you do weightlifting, any barbell, whatever it is, you don't have to start with these. These are awesome because these are 
You can add whatever weight you want to this. This one's 50. It's got two tens, that's 40, and two fives, 50. And I have a couple more to bring it up to 70 for each one. But you can start with much less. You can start with just the tens or even just two fives, even just 10 pounds, you know, whatever you want. So it's advisable to get a dumbbell that's flexible. These are not, these are just one, you know, one solid thing. So you have to get a number of them for the different exercises that you do. So when you lift weights, you're, you're getting a little bit of an aerobic exercise too. You can hear my breathing is more, right? My breathing is, you know, it's not as much as doing the, uh, the burpees and the, um, jump roping or running or sprinting, but it's still getting, I'm bringing more oxygen into my lungs. My heart is pumping more blood and more oxygen into my cells. So this is, it's more than just physical strength, the muscles. It's more than just that. You're actually working out your lungs and your heart as well. And your arteries, all of that is getting worked out and your immune system and even your, your, psychology and uh, emotions. It's, it's uh, all around healthy to do this. So is yoga, so is flexible, so is any exercise you do. The body is a unified organism. Mind and body are not separate. Everything is being exercised when you exercise. You know, that's why it's so good to do. That's why it's so healthy. So you exercise like this and your heart is very healthy. Your lungs are very healthy. Your immune system is healthy, not just your muscles, even though you can see the results of the muscles, which is one way to tell your fitness, you know, are, are your muscles strong? Can you do pull-ups? Can you do this? You can test yourself and tell that, but you don't see what's going on with your heart, what's going on with your lungs, what's going on with your immune system, what's going on with your kidneys, what's going on with your liver. All of these are being helped by this. One important thing to do with exercising is you want to breathe properly. So when you, you know, when you lift a weight, when you do a row, for instance, you, the, the hardest part, you're breathing out. So you breathe in, out, in, in, out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, and you do the same when you're doing pull-ups. You know, to pull yourself up, you breathe out. Let yourself down. So I think I've shown you just about everything in my home gym. Um, and I hope that's useful to you. I hope that you'll start exercising yourself, even if your home gym consists of nothing more than your floor, because that's a great way to start. There's plenty of things you can do just with a floor. As you exercise more, you'll get more enjoyment out of it and you'll start exploring other things using weights, using barbells, using dumbbells, you know, all kinds of different things, using bands. I also use bands. I didn't show you those, but I have bands which are good for doing certain exercise that you can't use weights for. So there's a whole world of exercise if you're new to this for you. And again, you can start at any age, you know, you could be 80 years old and you can start. You may need some advice from a doctor, certainly from a, a good uh, trainer, fitness trainer to help you, but it's a good idea to build up those muscles. And if you, if you can find, look at some videos of Jack LaLanne. He died, oh, I don't know, five years ago or so, but he maintained health throughout his entire life up until I think he died at 93. He maintained health all the way up till then. You know, he was still in really great physical shape there. As a matter of fact, 
I think in his 90s, one of the things he was planning on doing <laughs> was to uh, swim underwater to Catalina Island, I think from San Diego or somewhere he was going to swim. It was miles and miles and miles that he had to do. And he was all set to do it, but his wife talked him out of it. Because every year on his birthdays, he had done, you know, some extraordinary feat. He towed in the water, I think, on his 70th birthday, seven, to seven rowboats with 10 people on each rowboat. And he pulled them swimming underwater, you know, amazing, amazing uh, stamina. He used to swim out to Alcatraz Island and back in San Francisco. And um, just a very strong, fit, healthy guy who lived for health and to help people be healthy. So he's what's possible. You know, you can live a healthy life all the way up into your 90s or even 100. But it takes some motivation. It takes some effort. It takes some doing. It takes some discipline, you know. But it, it's not like work. You know, I have to say, if you feel it's work and just an effort, you're probably not going to keep doing it. You have to find something that you love. And if you, if you lift the weights, if you do the yoga, if you do, you know, high intensity interval training or whatever you do for aerobics, as you, as you do more of it, it will become enjoyable to you. As you do more of it, it will feel good. Weightlifters and bodybuilders often talk about the burn of, of like building up the muscles, the burn of doing that. And it is. It's, it's very pleasurable. It's very pleasurable to feel that contraction of muscles. I don't know why it is. It just is. <laughs> so it becomes really enjoyable to do. And the more enjoyable it is, the more you'll do it. And you'll stay healthy for that. But in the very beginning, it, it, it's, it's a struggle. It's hard. I mean, it was for me. If, if you've ever been not exercising for a while because you have an injury, coming back again is hard. You can't run as far. You can't run as fast. You can't lift as heavy weights. All those things happen. But you know from experience that you can build yourself back up into that again. And that's really the point. You can start at any age and build yourself back up. You can be healthier than you are today. That's a guarantee. You can be healthier than you are today and healthier again than you are tomorrow. You know, and this is the best way to protect yourself from the COVID-19 coronavirus. Your own health is the best way to protect yourself. Thank you, my friend. I hope this video was helpful and inspiring to you in some way to, to set up your own home gym, which, which can be nothing more than your floor, you know, in your house and your own body weight. There's many exercises that you can do that only use your own body weight. You know from yoga, you know, you can do yoga and you can add strength building exercise by doing push-ups and crunches, sit-ups, all kinds of things that you only need your own um, body weight to do and a floor. That's it. Those are the requirements. Now, there are extra things that I'm showing you in here that you can get to add to this that are fun and an, and an extra way to inspire you um, to exercise. But I hope this has inspired you to, to do it. You know, it doesn't matter just to watch what I'm doing, but that, that you actually do it yourself, that you actually, you know, put in the time and energy and are motivated to exercise your body during this time when, when we're closed down and you can't go to the gym and you can't go to, to yoga classes and you can't do that. You can do all of this at home. It only takes your own internal motivation. And I hope that I've inspired you a little bit. You can go on YouTube and find things. One of the things that I found, I have Amazon Prime, which I didn't even know that I had, but I have it and, and I can watch um, uh, videos and, and um, TV shows on it. And one of the things I found was a CrossFit championship, Reebok CrossFit championship, a whole series of these that showed people that they say are the healthiest, fittest people in the world who are competing for this title of the fittest people in the world doing this CrossFit. And they are very fit. Yes, they're all under 30, not 70. 
but it inspires you to see what people can do and, and to get your own sort of goals up for what you can do. I'm 71 years old, you know? A lot of people are not as fit as I am and as healthy as I am at 71 years old, and some are more. Jack LaLanne was much healthier than I am when he was 71. He was healthier than I was at 90, you know? But he put in the time and the energy and the discipline and the effort to do it. And that's what you need to do. It's not work. It can be fun if you enjoy doing it. I've always enjoyed exercise, but you can too. And yes, in the beginning, it is challenging. In the beginning, it is hard, you know? So take it gradually, take it easy, and you will get better. As I said before, you know, when I began, I, I could do two or three chin-ups at the most, pull-ups at the most, and now I regularly do 10. It's not effortless, you know? There's still work involved, otherwise it wouldn't be fun. If, it, if there wasn't some effort and work involved, it wouldn't be fun and I, and I wouldn't be in shape. <laughs> it's not easy, you know, but you get better and better. And the better you are and the healthier and fitter you are, the more fun it is and the more you enjoy it. You enjoy testing your muscles. You enjoy building your muscles and, and putting some stress and energy in your muscles and seeing what you can do. The same with your heart. With doing aerobics and jump roping and running and things like that the more you do the more enjoyable it is and still you are testing yourself i mean that's part of the whole process you are testing yourself it's not easy it's not like sitting on a couch and watching someone else exercise that's not going to do it you need to do it yourself and i hope you do my friends it will make your life much easier better and happier i promise you and isn't that what we want isn't that what i want for you Namaste, my friend.